मैं डॉक्टर के विश्वनाथ आलम राजू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनोटिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिंडीगल हैदराबाद इंडिया इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डेफिनेशन एंड टर्मिनोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू द स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन मैकेनिज्म्स स्टीयरिंग गियर्स एंड हुक्स जॉइन सो व्हाट इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन मैकेनिज्म एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन मैकेनिज्म्स in this straight line motion mechanisms there are two types one is approximate straight line motion mechanism another one is exact straight line motion mechanism what is a straight line motion mechanism again the straight line motion mechanism is the mechanism such a way that the output motion of any point any link the locus of that point is a straight line it can be either vertical or horizontal there are various types of mechanisms are there one of the mechanism is piecewise mechanism another mechanism is robots mechanism and what mechanism hart's mechanism chebyshev's mechanism these are the various types of mechanisms comes under the category of straight line motion mechanisms now robots mechanism is what type of mechanism it is comes under the category of approximate straight line motion mechanism because the locus of the output point locus of the motion of the point that point doesn't give a straight line it gives approximate straight line that's why it is known as approximate straight line motion mechanism what is intermittent motion mechanism it is the mechanism is such a way that it converts the rotary motion or continuous motion into intermittent motion that mechanism is known as intermittent motion mechanism in every in some of the mechanisms ratchets are being used sliders and various links but what is the purpose of the ratchets these ratchets are used to transform motion of rotation or translation into intermittent motion or intermittent rotation it converts is the rotary or translator motion into intermittent motion or intermittent rotary intermittent translation is known as that is for that purpose this ratchets are used next there are some of the mechanisms toggle mechanism and all so what is the when to use this toggle mechanism this toggle mechanisms are used where large resistances are to be or to be overcome through short distances through short distances then this type of toggle mechanisms are used now what is the use of pantograph one of this pantograph having mechanism is such a way that these are used for transferring or copying larger diagrams into the replica same copying same into larger scales to smaller scales and smaller scales to larger scales so these pantographs are used for reduction purpose and also enlarging the purpose of this drawings and maps if you want to draw certain uh, uh, the us country or indian country maps country maps into small scale we will use these pantographs because those are complicated shapes okay the complicated shapes of mechanism if you want to draw that this curves because the maps are the territory zones or territory borders of different countries so complicated is not like neither straight line nor complete curved line these are the complete complications of complicated curves if you want to replica if you want to draw large and large scales from smaller scales to larger or from larger scales to reduction scales at that point these pantographs are used 
to do uh, to draw large and enlarge and reduction scales. The next definition is that hooks joint. Now these hooks joints are used or it connects joints are used to connect where non-parallel and intersecting shafts there these hooks joints are used these hooks joints having different uh, are used especially where trains loco locomotive vehicles are joined with between two coaches these hooks joints are highly useful because when train when loco is traveling when locomotor local train is moving on heavy hills and all hills zone then what will happen those is non parallel and also intersecting shafts motion takes place where these hooks joints are used now in relation to the straight line motion mechanisms there is another mechanism is called is known as a chebyshev mechanism the chebyshev mechanism gives the horizontal straight line motion it is such a way that when it moves on extreme edges the point p the ratio between the links that is 1 is to 2 is to 2.5 this path the path the tracer when it is moving from when it is moving from left to right side extreme directions the link ab then what happen a becomes here it becomes a p at that time the path traced by point p during extreme motions it is a horizontal straight line so the ratio design the ratio between the links should be 1 is to 2 is to 2.5 ratio such a way that if we design with this ratio we can observe the locus of the point p is a horizontal straight line and a uh, piecemeal mechanism in this piecemeal mechanism the path traced by the point p gives a vertical straight line and it gives vertical straight line so these are the various uh, straight line motion mechanisms uh, you know definitions are uh, related to to understand the concepts of uh, other mechanisms also now coming to the category of the steering gears this condition for correct steering there are various types of steering gears are there various types of steering number 1 davis steering gear mechanism davis steering gear and two ackerman steering gear steering gear mechanism ackerman steering gear mechanism and davis steering gear mechanism all these mechanisms these two types of mechanisms are designed based on the condition of perfect steering or correct correct steering condition for correct steering okay this condition for correct steering what is the condition for correct steering the condition for correct steering means these are the rear wheels and these are front wheels when it takes the left turn 
when the front wheel takes left turn the x the substantial extensions these are the extensions coincided with the extensions are the extension of sub axles is coincided with the axis of the rear wheels then it intersects at i center i then that is the condition for character steering having angles suppose it is theta and it is another one with phi then you will find out the difference of cot cot times cot theta cot times of in terms of angles the difference between these two angles of cot theta cot uh, cot theta minus cot phi based on these angles that equal to w by l what is the w by l the difference of trigonometric cot difference of these two angles where w is the width between the distance between two pivots and l is the wheel base that is w by l then that during the steering the extension of sub sub axles going should be coincided with the rear wheel axis that i center then only the vehicle won't be skidding won't be skidded otherwise during left turn or right turn if it is not matching then immediately vehicle skidding takes place so the way steering we are doing it is not skidding taking place then it is known as by default condition for correct steering in practical every time we don't check it these values whether i am steering let me measure what is w by l ratio is matching or not it is analytical understanding or theoretical understanding well practically you can feel while turning left turn or right turn you can feel the lifting of the outer wheel you are taking from my side right turn then you meet the lifting of that outer wheel you can feel it similarly when you are taking left turn the lifting of your outer wheel this side also outer wheel you can feel it such a way that the way steering will manage practically based on the feeling of the driver while I mean while driving vehicles but the point is that if it is skidding to explain means this i center is not matching that's why so the vehicle skidding can be avoided when during steering that if it follows the condition for correct steering skidding doesn't takes place now how to find out now and explain about steering gear mechanisms so you can read here the large description about the steering gear mechanisms steering gear mechanisms are mechanisms such a way that which follows which are designed for based on condition for correct steering or perfect steering there are two types of mechanisms this ackerman and davis so what is what is the davis steering gear mechanism and what is ackerman this davis steering gear mechanism is more complicated than ackerman steering gear mechanism in davis steering mechanism the coefficient of friction is more in comparison to ackerman steering gear mechanism okay and one more important is that in davis steering gear mechanism davis steering gear mechanism is designed based on perfect condition for perfect steering both mechanisms ackerman and davis steering but ackerman steering gear is very simple in comparison to davis steering and the coefficient of friction is higher in the case of uh, ackerman and in ackerman steering gear all pairs are turning pairs turning pairs okay all are joints the joint will be taken place when you taking left turn or right turn so that the mechanism is used 
in ackerman steering gear is four bar mechanism okay these are uh, the difference what is the di this is the difference between davis steering gear and ackerman steering gear mechanisms now coming to the fundamentals more fundamentals what is the resistant to body a body which does not suffer appreciable distortion or change in physical form for the by forces acting on it that means resistant body is having resistance to deform is known as resistant to body okay one more thing it doesn't want to distort and what are the examples of resistant bodies these resistant bodies examples are belts ropes and chain drives these are all treated as resistant bodies next if you consider some of the links the links in this case are okay rigid links flexible link and fluid link in the fluid link is the link which is operated by the motion of the fluid by the motion of the fluid okay these are the various links but in our kinematics we will follow the rigid links okay and what is a flexible link a flexible link is that which is transmitting motion and is partly deformed in ma manner that transmission of motion is not affected especially these flexible links are belts the belt transmits motion or torque from one pulley to another pulley it is slight deformation may be there, it be there but it doesn't affect the motion it transmits the motion it transmits in the case of open belt drive the motion of the two pulleys are same when the case of cross belt drive suppose if you want to transmit if you want to transfer motion in opposite direction the output pulley should be moved in opposite direction if it is in clockwise it should be in counter clockwise then cross belt drives are used cross belt drives okay so now right now this steering gear mechanisms in principles we are following but exact mechanisms we are not using it is obsolete now now the technology is such a way that the digital technology and operated with ai ml artificial intelligent machine learning applications there are sensors technology is such a way that if the vehicle is traveling with 120 kmph on highways if there is a dig is there on the road the vehicle will be stopped or obstruction is there automatically by the sense control because the sensors technology is such a way that the picture will be visualized image in and immediately the speed will be reduced and the brakes will be applied if there is any obstruction immediately next one more thing is that the sensors technology in the case of uh, uh, i mean uh, even opening the doors if you want to open the car doors immediately there is a person is traveling nearby is there obstruction immediately the door won't be open so that is that operated by machine learning technologies but mechanical complete the structure is made of mechanical materials mechanisms and all but operated with the programs in order to reduce the accidents and one more thing by using this ai ml even the rear mirrors there is a blind spots if the person is in the area of blind spot there is a cause of accident but the sensor the aml technology is such a way that the sensors are arranged such a way that the person or the passenger or vehicles which are in the zone of blind spots can be identified and avoid accidents in order to minimize the accidents the sensors technology are highly useful provided if the sensors works 
If the sensor fails, there is catastrophic damage for the passenger, for the driver and for the vehicle. So what is the life of sensors and how to estimate the life of sensor technology and where it will be used and what type of sensors you have to use. And if the sensors sensing is failed, then AML doesn't work out anything. It comes in a topsy turvy. Now that's why the manually operated, there are some advantages and also design advantages also there for every technology. But even though the minimized manually operated vehicles, the people are using, it is under your control. You can feel it. Whereas, whereas in sensor control, it is not your control. It is the sensor control. Your vehicle and yourself, everything under sensor, boss, you are, you become a dependent parameter. At that point, the independent parameters are the sensors works. The whatever sensors does, you have to obey it. If sensor fails, gone, catastrophic damage takes place. That's why, but whereas in manually operated vehicles, the thing is that if the person is, he can know it for water speed and all, and he can feel it. If he works properly, he's also sensors, God made sensors technology is designed. So this artificial intelligence and machine learning already created by God in human being, that, that machine is called human body. So you can sense it through your eyes, automatically brain will function out. When brain functions automatically, that transmits the lines, that it can information to and operate it with to your hands and legs. So this machine learning technology already, it is not the new technology, it is all the oldest technology designed by God. So this replica we are implementing through sensors and we are calling it this AMA artificial intelligence. That is artificial, it is not natural. So because of this artificial intelligence technology, what will happen? If the program fails or sensors fails, damage is huge damage. So that is the one of precaution or, uh, or warning in this technology. Now where is, but one more important thing is that in the case of kinematics links, the links are operated with AMI, A and ML, this artificial intelligence and machine learning prog uh, programs, technology, then it is the output of those things are this robotics. In the robotics, the robotics in the place of uh, human beings, we can use robots. By using robots, we can operate the machines. The robots are combination of various links and operated with machine learning. So it can feel it, you can tell, say thank you or hello, how are you like that. So the technology is there, but provided, again provided caution is that sensors should be worked properly. Otherwise, again, huge damage. One more thing, very important thing is that In the case of uh, straight line motion mechanisms, what are the application of these straight line motion mechanisms? These mechanisms, the straight line motion mechanisms are used, especially in the case of robots in order to get different motions of the arm. Suppose there is pick and place, robot is there. This pick and place motion is a straight line motion or curved motion. So based on the motions, we can connect the links such a way that the output motion can be obtained. The required output motion is, is a straight line motion or what type of the coordinate system. This, this robots will use the concepts of that is called analysis and synthesis of mechanisms. The synthesis of mechanisms we introduce based on by doing the analysis with the help of this straight line motion mechanisms. Here it is a straight line motion. If you want curved motions, so we have to connect the links with proper geometry, with the proper dimensions. If the length changes, suppose in the case of Chebyshev's mechanism, the condition should be followed in order to obtain the straight line motion, the horizontal straight line motion of your mechanism is 1 is to 2 is to 2.5. If you follow another, instead of 1 is to 2 is to 2.5, if you follow 1 is to 1 is to 2.5, 2 
you won't get it this straight line horizontal straight line you will get it in different motion but if you want curved line how much curved line what type of curved line so all this the path of or the locus of the point p here is dependent on is dependent on the geometry of the links if the geometry of the link is changed immediately the required motion won't be obtained as we can understand in human body if the fingers are everything is approximately geometry it is the geometry is exactly suitable if the middle finger is too large if the proportional fingers are arranged if it is too large double size it is become obstacle for carrying the loads for carrying the weights so the fingers are proportionately arranged by the designer okay then such a way that if you carry any load or any if you hold any weight or any component it doesn't obstruct suppose if the middle finger is double size you hold it then what will happen you cannot fold like that you should touch by holding no then what will happen if it is finger double size it becomes obstruct by the holding by folding the fingers so similar in the same manner all links should be arranged in such a manner in proportional to each other such a way that we can obtain the required motion okay that is known as that is the but the that is where it indicates the skill or experience of the design engineer now this is about i talking about the output motion of i mean the design of chebyshev mechanism and the importance of geometry of various links of a mechanism now as we have studied in kinematics in what is the pair here the degrees of freedom what is the degrees of freedom the degree of freedom is defined as the number of independent coordinates required to specify the complete configuration of a system is known as a degree of freedom now the degree of freedom of each mechanism is the combination of various links so one has to study the what is the degree of freedom of each link such a way that and geometry by considering the geometry such a way that we can obtain or okay observe the required motion so when we are reading some of the straight line motion mechanisms that reading that the study of those mechanisms helps to invent new mechanisms or novel mechanisms or novel outputs of motion so these are the concepts of mechanisms and pantograph comes under what type of mechanism is this comes under straight line motion mechanism or curved line motion mechanism so it doesn't come under any straight line any mechanism uh, any type of in the straight line motion mechanisms it is a separate mechanism is used okay it comes under the category of lower pairs category comes under the category lower pairs category is used to reduction or enlarging the drawings or maps okay and also it is also used one more in the case of machines for guiding the cutting tools or torches to fabricate complicated shapes so to for fabricating the complicated shapes these pantographs are highly useful and each mechanism is having a particular purpose uniqueness is there in order to obtain or achieve the particular type of path or locus of the point output now here in the case of chebyshev mechanism i am emphasizing more and more chebyshev mechanism it is a unique mechanism in the case of it is a straight line motion mechanism exact straight line motion mechanism suppose if we change the length ab decrease then you cannot get it exactly the motion you cannot obtain this 1 is to 2 is to 2.5 won't be reached immediately you won't obtain the straight line horizontal straight line motion mechanism now how many links are there in this motion mechanism link 1 2 3 4 it is also comes under the category of four bar mechanism generally whenever four bar mechanism is there for purposes we study here this is four bar mechanism this is the manner we study fixed link 1 2 3 4 but 
the application of this principle or this four mechanism four bar mechanism the application of the four bar mechanism is ackerman steering gear mechanism the application of four bar mechanism is chebyshev's mechanism so like that we can apply this four bar mechanism many many places but it is only in principle it is a four bar mechanism in the case of ackerman steering gear mechanism the geometry of the links is different from in the case of chebyshev mechanism so the importance of geometry is is so important the geometry is so important in order to obtain different motions by giving different input motions by observing different motions as an output now very important thing in the straight line motion mechanisms by using these straight line motion mechanisms or if you have become expert in designing the straight line motion mecha mechanisms we can understand easily the subjects of robotics and also by attaching by understanding by implementing this machine learning in the robotics that's what robots are working robots with machine learning are me mechanisms or links combining mechanisms or motion mechanisms with machine learning that combination is output is robots so these are very important uh, mechanisms to design the robots and also to design various mechanisms thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates